open website ffmpeg.org. Press the large green download button, hover over Windows 10 icon and press the link called Windows Builds from Gian.dev. Scroll down until you see the caption called Release. Download file from the link ended with release-essentials.zip. Copy this archive anywhere to your computer. I tend to use my Dropbox folder to make this setup crash resistant. Right click, extract all. Dive inside to the folder called bin and copy path to this folder from the navigation bar. Press Windows key and start typing the word environment. Open edit the system environment variables and finally environment variables. Locate string called path and press the edit button. Inside of popped up window click new and paste path that you previously copied. Press ok, ok, ok. okay. To make sure it is working press windows key plus R and type cmd. Type ffmpeg and press the enter. You should see something like this. If you don't see this visit more detailed tutorial on the installation which is made by Troubleshoot, link below. FFmpeg is a command line tool which means you need to type some text to use it. The most basic operation looks like the following. FFmpeg, file name to convert, premised by a dash i, and file to save, all separated only by the spaces. By the way, I wish this dash i thing do not exist. Always forget to put it. You have forgotten. No, how could I? Sometimes if you do just that, you'll see significant drop in file size, but you able to do more. To control settings of your conversion, you need to use keys, which looks like this. Dash, letter, s, often followed by a number. One common use case is to compress video to make file size smaller. To do that and save mp4 video, you need to use key CRF, followed by a number from 0 to 51, where 0 is best quality and largest file size, and 51 is smallest file size, and complete fucking garbage. Which is so bad that it's actually even interesting. The second common use case is to change the resolution of the video with the key dash S, followed by the resolution, for example 1920 by 1080. Let's imagine common scenario when you made a video and wanna send it to yourself 15 years in the past. That you step out of the time dimension but back in the day, your Sony Ericsson had only 160 by 128 pixels of resolution and 15 megabytes of available memory, which already preoccupied with personal image collection of a teenager. Let's see how we will handle this with the FFmpeg. Open your favorite text editor and type this. Think about that as what to process, how to process, and where to save result. Open the folder which contains your video. Copy file name of your file and place it into your string. Go to File, Open Windows PowerShell, paste your string and hit Enter. Now you're in the matrix. Voila! Beautiful result from 70 megabytes to a half of a megabyte. Now you can show to your teenage self that in the future you will have a lot of flying cars. Here's how I use it. As a person far away from scripting and programming, I always tend to mistype and forgot correct keys. CRF, CRM, CPF. To eliminate this human error factor, I made a mind map with presets for myself and my process looks like the following. Open the folder which contains the video. Open mind map and choose closest preset. Simple text file will serve equally well. Copy this preset into a text editor. I often make additional lines to choose from to find the best ratio of file size compared to quality. Open the console or PowerShell. I have them one click closer with the help of STX bar, which is free extension of an explorer. I put link in the description. Paste all of my lines at once and hit enter. Done. All right. You can be creative with how you make your lines. <laughs>